have an idea in my head and I search out that that prop or that idea and I create it. I mean, almost everything I do, I build a prop before I actually paint it. Like these springs over here were, um, they're just little car valve springs. But I just, the form of springs is so interesting, so I just painted them different colors and then I rubbed the paint off so they weren't too solid and I composed them into a prop that I found interesting and then I light it in a way that I find um, gives it a, a nice composition of, of, of light and shadow and then it's, instead of doing a little still life of it I, I try to paint it on a larger scale which gives it a contemporary element. And, um, why but, do you do uh, acrylic first? Um, well, that all started with um, that all started when I was first painting. That I I did my underpainting. I don't I don't want to paint on the white of the canvas because there's nothing that's really that white, and you're fighting white all the time. So the first thing I try to do is kill kill the white of the canvas. So I'll I'll, I'll do a, a wash of just usually an arbitrary color. And when I did that in oils, and I didn't wait long enough to dry, the the, the, the underpainting would bleed right through. And sometimes that's really interesting, and sometimes it's horrible, right? So I, I didn't have control over that. So I started to speed things up. I would do a wash in acrylic, because you can paint acrylic underneath oil. And, and then when I did that, not only did it speed up the process, the process of doing acrylic underneath um, it didn't really matter to me. It was more of just drawing paint down on the canvas, but it gave it a texture that that texture would carry through the life of the painting, and it would pick up that painting whether I was doing transparent layers or whether I was scraping a palette knife over it. That texture would continue. So that 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 process that was in the, in the beginning just part of speeding up the painting actually became part of my technique over the years and so when I'm now when I'm painting that acrylic underpainting I'm thinking about what I'm doing and what's going to be there hopefully in the end of my painting.